Hi guys, um, I had a request to do a look that I would be happy to wear at some sort of formal event. So whether it's a job interview or a funeral or first day at your new job or a presentation. Um, so you want to look presentable, you want to look natural and you definitely don't want to look like you've caked up loads of like pink blush and light makeup. So this is the look I came up with and if you're interested in seeing how I did this then just keep watching. So I've moisturised my face and um, I've just used a basic like moisturiser and now I'm actually going to go over the top of that with a dual protection tinted moisturiser from Boots. This is one of my absolute favourite tinted moisturisers um, in the sense that I like the coverage but because I've got a few pimply bits there I'm just going to put in like a really small pump of my Pro Longwear concealer like really really small pump and then just kind of mix that in I'm gonna actually apply this with my fingers because it really does make life a lot quicker I'm gonna put it in like little dots around my face Um, you want to kind of you know you want to look natural you really can't look like you've got loads of makeup caked on obviously right now I do look like I've got loads of makeup caked on um, but you just want to sort of pat everything in with your fingers and then kind of blend it all out um, the reason I don't normally add the concealer in, but in this occasion I did on the basis that I've got a couple of little pimply bits that otherwise aren't going to get covered. So just going to go and rub this all in. We are going to go over this with a powder, so don't worry if it's not, if it's looking a little bit shiny. I think with um, formal events, like, you want to just look naturally pretty, like, you don't want to look like you're kind of caked in makeup. Um, don't forget to kind of go all the way down your neck like this. And um, sometimes people, when I do this, like, tinted moisturiser with concealer thing, people do ask me what foundation I'm wearing. Um, because they say that my skin looks quite good and quite flawless and stuff, which is why I thought, well, actually, it's a lot quicker than applying... Um, a lot quicker than applying a full foundation and actually I think the results look quite good so we just rub all this in you can still see a couple of like little pimply bits floating around so I'm gonna sort that out with um, with an actual concealer so I'm probably gonna go in with my NW35 by MAC and I'm just gonna start by putting that underneath my eyes I tried to do the whole like Kim Kardashian thing where she puts lighter concealer under the eye and I find that it just enhances my dark circles like it just makes them look really like ashy and grey so I scrapped that idea I'm just going for something that kind of more suits my skin and I prefer the look of this to be honest so um, you can always use like obviously the Bobbi Brown peach corrector if you want to you know what I need to do I need to do the um, non mirror makeup challenge like I really do need to do it it's like on my list of like requests that I've had I'm just rubbish at doing stuff that's been requested this one was requested yesterday but this girl said that her aunt's uh, funeral and the event she needed it for was on Wednesday so I had to get it up really really quickly um, so that's kind of like the base of my makeup today and obviously it, you can see it's still a little bit shiny so we're just going to kind of cover that up with powder I'm going to go in with Better Fit Hello Flawless and I'm going to take just a slight amount of it but I find this is really good to like get rid of shine like this is such an amazing powder by the way I've said it before like it's quite expensive for like a powder but I genuinely think it kind of makes the skin look flawless and I don't know how much of that is paying off in the actual video. Really, really pretty. Not me, the flawless. The benefit flawless. Run it down there so it doesn't look streaky. Sorry, I'm just going to get back over my eyelids because they tend to get really oily during the day. I mean, with formal events, I generally think you need to look natural. You can't look like you've caked yourself up in makeup, even if you have. 
and the eye makeup needs to look very natural as well so I'm just going to do that and then I am going to contour slightly because I think contouring kind of look, makes you look pretty but in a kind of half natural way I'm actually going to take my terracotta um, bronzer by G Guerlain I don't know how to say it um, and I'm going to go in with a angled fluffy brush from MAC which I think is the 10... I don't know, it's rubbed off. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's just 163, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, just on my brush, and then just draw a line down there. And the reason I've picked this one is because it's totally, totally matte. Like, a lot of the, um, a lot of the bronzers I tend to use have, like, a bit of shimmer on them. And I think on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not too bad, but when you're trying to do like a formal event then I don't think it really looks that good but I use my MAC bronzer on like a day to day event and I think that's fine for that so and I love the colour payoff of this because it's not like some of my bronzers where I'm like digging around to get like the bit of, little bit of colour I can't talk properly today so sorry Slim. That's the look we're going for, the gaunt look. I just want to follow that line that you make. Okay, so I'm going to go in and contour the sides of my nose. Because I did that in one of my videos and you were all like, oh, your nose looks so slim. And I got really excited, so clearly it works. Um, I used an eyeshadow actually to do it that time. I used Max Core Draw, I think, to do that instead. Um, well... Maybe I'll carry on using that because I don't think that looks as good. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with a blush. So the blush I decided to go for, I cannot find right now. But I'm just going to go with a Max Peach Twist because, again, it's not too bright and it doesn't look too slaggy for, you know, funeral purposes. So I'm going to get the same brush again it does have like a little bit of shimmer I don't think there's anything wrong with like a little bit of shimmer especially because it's only going on the cheeks anyway so I just hope it doesn't emphasize this pimple I've got on my face I'm just gonna plonk that there okay so then in terms of the eyeshadow I'm gonna grab at my naked 2 palette my naked my naked one um, Naked 2 palette and I'm just going to take um, T's which is going to go in my crease which is that one there so that's just going to go into my crease um, I haven't actually put any primer on I like totally forgot to do that so just ignore and just put primer on where you would normally put it on because I'm rubbish and when I do tutorials I just forget stuff. Um, should I try and zoom in? I don't really know if you guys want to see up close because it kind of looks stupid. No, you know what? You can watch from there. Because the eyes are going to be really, really neutral um, because everything else is going to be fairly neutral as well. Because um, so I just want to do like a bit of eyeliner and mascara. I might even use a pencil eyeliner today because want to kind of get a fairly soft look and then I've got like a nude kind of lip glossy thing going on as well so that is gonna go there and then I'm gonna go in with a darker color I'm gonna get snake bite and I'm just going to take, which is like a darker shimmery brown, which is that one there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that right on the end of my, right at the corner of my eye. You know what, I'm going to zoom in because you can't see anything. Well, that's pretty much it with the eyeshadow. I'm not doing anything else to it anyway. Um, let's bring that bad boy in. Okay, so just literally plonked a bit of snake bite on the end. And all I'm going to do is just bring it in slightly. And sometimes, like, just really subtle eyeshadow, I think, goes a long way. Um, especially for events like this, where you can't really look like a whore. Um, 
so so that just blends in there I'm then going to take my um, go in with my I think I'm going to do liquid liner just because I can't get enough of my liquid liner so we're going to do the liquid liner anyway uh, it's just my normal black same old same old liquid liner that I always use which is actually running out so I might need to get another one fairly soon that is really not high enough Then I'm going to do the same at the other side. I haven't even done the lips yet, but I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do with the lips. Um, and it's going to be quite neutral again, but just to give a little tiny bit of colour. Because the rest of the face doesn't have too much colour. like pin drop silence see if I can get the same as the other eye it never ends up being the same as the other eye so okay let me just carry on with that there then I'm going to go in with mascara because like I mean you could go in with like a brown mascara if you wanted to if you wanted it to look more natural but I'm not I'm going to go in with a black and I'm just going to start curling my eyelashes a little bit I probably will blend out the face just a little bit more I think the cheeks can look a little bit harsh but the lips are going to be fairly neutral anyway so right let's And the last thing is the lips, which again, kind of couldn't decide between Rosy Nude by, I think I might have to go for Rosy Nude by Revlon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use a liner today. I don't, I'm going to try, or maybe I will. I use um, Max Morning Coffee Pro Link Longwear, and I'm just going to draw it around my lips. I'm just going to block my lips because I had a little bit of lip balm on there earlier. This is kind of a really good neutral for Asian lips because it's just a little bit darker than our own lip colour. And then I'm going to fill it in using Rosy Nude by Revlon which I am absolutely loving for like nude lipstick at the moment. It's like a little bit darker than normal lipstick, like normal lip colour. But it's kind of neutral and looks quite nice. You can top that with a gloss if you absolutely must. But um, I'm not going to on the basis that I don't like wearing gloss like every day. It just kind of bugs me. Um, but I'm just going to kind of, last thing is just kind of blend everything out a little bit on my face. Just because I want everything to look a little bit more natural. So... That is my finished kind of formal makeup look, which, you know, isn't like brightly bold. There's not a lot going on in the eyes, but I think for formal events, I think it should be quite good. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.